We know that our words of love and faith and life will accomplish that which they are sent for just the same. We are declaring that the mind of God is equal to the need, that divine intelligence is directing all who have to do with caring and giving treatment. This divine intelligence is what created your organism and it is able to renew and restore every part. We are holding you in the consciousness of infinite love and abundant good. All sense of worry and burden is now taken away. Do not let this experience depress you, for it is a thing of the moment. You are speedily rising out of it, and at the same time, you are coming into a better understanding of God's love and God's care, and the way in which divine ideas can utterly change your viewpoint and bring you into a new and joyous world. Just relax and give the dear body the opportunity to make use of the inner spiritual resources and turn your mind to the Christ consciousness of peace and joy and wholeness. We'll be expecting a good report. Yours in truth, Myrtle Fillmore. But how I didn't love the misery of the body. I can smile now, for I think of myself as the old pincushion. Here then is the first message I would give to you. Perfect health of body. It is a jewel that glows and sparkles in the setting of life. It is yours. Take it, keep it. Disease and fear shall have no power to wrest it from you. The second treasure I would give among you is peace. Sweet, sweet peace of mind. A few great minds towered up and filled the thought atmosphere with such a blaze of desperation that we were never sure just where absolute truth lay. Therefore, the third great treasure I would put into your keeping is absolute knowledge of what is true. Does not these three great blessings fill to overflowing the golden bowl of life? So let me put this again this way. Every motive for every human act springs from a desire for satisfaction, health of body, peace of mind, and desire for knowledge of truth. Now we will not dwell upon the whys of sickness and past unhappiness. I much prefer the subject of health and prosperity. Why not be well? Why not be happy? Why not be prosperous? 